The opposition was successful today in adjourning parliament until next week, Friday, before he introduced the motion of the vote of no confidence this afternoon. The Speaker of Parliament aired his disappointment at what he sees is an interference by the courts into NEC matters. The Supreme Court orders were somewhat, in my view, vague. It was ambiguous and open to all sorts of interpretation. The Parliament was put in a situation where the notice of motion for a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister was to be introduced, then debated, and finally voted on in today's sitting of the House in compliance with the Supreme Court orders in direct contravention of the relevant provisions of the Constitution. However, at approximately 11.30 this morning, the Chair received from the Supreme Court an ancillary order Commenting on the second court order that was obtained this morning by the opposition to make sure Parliament was adjourned to next week, Friday, he said it was a blatant misinterpretation of an article published in one of the dailies today. This article is purely the interpretation of the newspaper journalist that compiled it and is in no way an authorized publication given under the authority of this chair, contrary to the suggestions by the Supreme Court. Honourable members, at this juncture, the Chair would like to advise the House that the Chair shall seek a resolution of the Parliament today to invoke a special constitutional reference before the Supreme Court to verify the Supreme Court's power to order breaches of the Constitution and organic law and the circumstances under which such orders can be made, including the issuance of ancillary order based on articles that were in no way authorized by the chair. The government tried to move a motion to do that through leader for government business, James Marape. I move a motion that parliament endorses your call for a constitutional reference, Mr. Speaker. This was initially entertained by the speaker. The eyes have it. Call the division. division. Is there a division? division? Is there a division? Would those, would those in, there is a division, I'm entertaining the division, I'm entertaining a division, would those in favor please, please rise. But he changed his mind after this point of order. This is a special purpose sitting, Mr. Speaker, with only one agenda. The agenda is to have the motion introduced and to adjourn. <laughs> that, that has already been achieved with your ruling. Full stop. There can be no further motion, no any other agenda introduced. We are now, we are now moving away from us, the purpose of this parliamentary recall into something else. The purpose of this parliament is not to call for the entertainment of any other motion other than to introduce the motion for a vote of no confidence and to adjourn it. So having made the ruling on already, you cannot call for another motion. Mr. Speaker, that is out of order. That, to do so will be in contempt of court, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> point taken. Point, point taken. I feel at this time we have to be sensitive of what is happening around us. We have to be sensitive about what is happening in Papua New Guinea as well. And whilst I would really want to take this matter to court right now and get this parliament to resolve for us to take this matter uh, for judicial review, I would rather exercise caution. And I would say we will do it after we've dealt with uh, the, the matter that's before us. I'm exercising a lot of precaution here. After this, Marape moved to adjourn parliament, which was agreed by all. The government seems confident that they still have the numbers to remain in power after the vote of no confidence. They now have seven days to hold on to those numbers. But with PPP's surprising move today, this remains to be seen. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.